Hello everybody, I'm your host Joseph, and look it, I'm hip with the kids. Today we're going to be talking about Watch Dogs 2, and we're really going to compare Watch Dogs 2 with the original Watch Dogs. What the second one gets right, what the second one improves from the original game, and where Watch Dogs 2 gets it wrong. Uh, and at the end of the day, we're going to tell you whether this game is worth your money or not. So how we're going to do this is we're going to break it up into parts. We're going to talk about the characters, the map, the gameplay, the sights and sounds of Watch Dogs, and at the end of the day, tell you whether this game is worth the buy or not, if it's really, truly an improvement over the original. So without any more embarrassment of myself, let's get right into the gameplay, shall we? So let's first start off with what Watch Dogs 2 gets right from the original. And right off the bat, it is the protagonists in 2 that are so much better than the protagonists in 1. Aiden Pearson, the original Watch Dogs, was just a douchebag. In the beginning, he was introduced as a, as a shady character. In the middle, he was an asshole. At the end, he was an asshole. He was an asshole through and through. And I remember one of the controversies surrounding the character was him laying his hands on a female. He, he hit her. He slapped her uh, for no fucking reason, it seemed. I wasn't upset at that because I was like, oh, well, that's what douchebags do because Aiden Pierce is a douchebag because he's not a good guy. And that's what not good people do is lay hands on women. And when it comes to Marcus, on the other hand, Marcus is almost immediately relatable. You know, he's funny, he's charming, he's witty, and he's three-dimensional. He has feelings. Yeah, he could be funny and charming one minute, but when it's time to get serious, when it's time to get sad, when it's time to cry, Marcus delivers all of those things perfectly. And though the cast in Watch Dogs 2 isn't perfect, there are some annoying cliches in there. Watch Dogs 2 has a far better set of characters to actually grow feelings for, rather than in one it was just a handful of just douchebags. <laughs> Shady people that you couldn't really trust, as where Watch Dogs 2 it feels like you have a family. And talking about characters, we actually have to talk about the map uh, where this game takes place, and that is San Francisco. San Francisco feels like a city. Unlike Watch Dogs 1, Chicago just felt like a map with buildings. Uh, San Francisco feels like it's a living, breathing organism. It's beautiful, it's bright during the day, and then even at night, it kind of turns, and it turns into a different city with different type of nightlife, and it's amazing to see that transformation. It doesn't even just show you the beautiful side of San Francisco, but it shows you the slums as well. It shows you where the gang hideouts are and where there's a lot of gang uh, violence at, and it shows you the ugliness that this city can also hold as well. It's beautiful. The map is fantastic. It's actually one of my favorites this year, and it's, it's a hell of a lot of fun. I love the map to Watch Dogs 2. It's just fantastic. One major thing that Watch Dogs 2 does better than Watch Dogs 1 is the gameplay. Probably the most important thing Watch Dogs 2 does better than its original. The original game focused way too much on guns and killing people. Where in this game, it relies more on being stealthy and more with your technology over your weaponry. Where in Watch Dogs 1, it was your weapons over your technology. And it's so great to see that. Watch Dogs 2 allows you to really play however you want to play. If you want to play with the non-lethal hacker side where you're all about your gadgets, there's a tree for that that you can upgrade. Uh, if you want to be a getaway driver, there's a tree for you to upgrade. If you want to focus on, you know, your assault rifles and your guns and all that, there is a tree for you to upgrade. And you can kind of start figuring out what type of character Marcus wants to be through the choices you make in the skill tree. You know, I loved Marcus. I thought he was a generally good-hearted guy, so I really chose a more non-violent approach most of the time during this game. And the great thing about Watch Dogs 2 is if you fuck up your self-approach, if you mess something up, you do have a little window to fix that mistake. You have a stun gun that you can use that will neutralize your target without him calling out to anybody for help, if you're fast enough to do that. I love that you can fix your mistakes in Watch Dogs 2. It's more forgiving. So, gameplay, fantastic, 
far better than the original. What are the things in this game that it doesn't do right, though? Watch Dogs 2 does most things better than Watch Dogs 1, that's for sure. Even the story, though is still a little weak in Watch Dogs 2, is a lot better than Watch Dogs 1 because the characters I like and I care for. Uh, where this game falls flat is actually only in the driving portion of this game. The cars handle like shit. They handle like boats more than actual vehicles. It is annoying to drive cars in this game to actually make a good, decent turn without hitting anything. And this goes into the police in this game. The AI are relentless. Even It's like when you have two stars or three stars in Watch Dogs 2. It's like having four or five stars in GTA, it feels like, in certain parts of the game. And that doesn't help when you suck at driving and then the person that's telling you to pull over is this 40-year-old divorcee that they had to voice all the police officers in this game. It is annoying. It is the worst part about this game. And that voice gives me nightmares. But other than that, Watch Dogs 2 is a big improvement over Watch Dogs 1. If I were to say, is this game worth it? Yes, and I'm so pleasantly surprised of how this game actually turned out to be not just decent, but just actually maybe one of my favorite games this year. It took me out of Dishonored 2, which I was having so much fun with, and I have not looked back. I've put this game in my PlayStation 4, and I have just not put anything else in. If that tells you how good Watch Dogs 2 is. So with all that out of the way, that's how I feel about Watch Dogs 2. It's far better. I enjoy it in insane amount and i definitely do uh hope you guys hop on and join me as well with that being said let me get you guys out of so here so there you have it those are my thoughts on Watch Dogs 2 uh is it worth it or not yeah hell yes definitely pick up this game it is definitely worth your cash it's worth your time and it is far better than Watch Dogs 1. Uh, with all that out of the way, if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit like, share, subscribe. It helps me out, shows me that you care. And now uh, I got to go and take this horrible mask off because I can't breathe. So everybody, I don't have a catchphrase, but have a great day.